Okay, here's our fun video about the Ranger Lady and Smokey the Bear. Now, many of you have been to the Grand Canyon, but perhaps fewer of you have been to the little visited North Rim of the Grand Canyon. Well, my family was there a few years ago, and uh, I went walking around the, the federal log cabins we were staying in right at the North Rim there, and I saw a sign at the Ranger Station that said, uh, Ranger tour of North Rim, 7 a.m. tomorrow. Well, the rest of the family had the sense not to go to that, to put to sleep in, but I went to the 7 a.m. Ranger tour, and there were about eight of us people from the city that met the Ranger lady. She was, uh, she was about 55 years old, and maybe a little more direct and honest than I, than I expect uh, an employee of the Park Service to be. So she started us out and took us around the North Rim and she pointed to a tree and said, any of you city people know what type of tree that is? And we looked at it and we said, a pine tree? She said, that's right. She said, when do the big branches start in that pine tree? And we looked at it and we said, about 12 feet up. She said, that's right. She then said a question none of us knew the answer to. She said, if people didn't exist on earth, how often would a forest fire start in a pine forest in North America that is set by lightning? And she gave the answer every five to seven years. And she said, look at your feet. So we all looked at our feet and there was this little growth down by our feet, all the decayed wood and so on and leaves. She said, what happens is that every five to seven years, a pine forest will catch on fire, burn off all that yucky stuff at your feet, and those flames never get into the real branches of the tree, and there's never a super forest fire as a result. She said, however, Smokey the Bear was born in about 1903, and Smokey's sworn duty is to prevent all forest fires, whether, whether caused by people or lightning, and for the next hundred years or so, Smokey was so highly effective in putting out all forest fires that that brush never got burned away. She said, now after a hundred years, that brush has grown up into the big branches of the trees themselves so that now when a forest fire begins, it immediately goes into the branches and you don't have little localized fires anymore. You have these huge, huge mega fires that consume half of New Mexico, for example. And what she said is that well-intentioned National Park Service actions some 100 years ago have had very, very drastic consequences 100 years later. What she was doing, of course, was illustrating the environmental law of unexpected results where you do one thing to the environment and years and years and years later you have an unexpected consequence. All right, that's it for Smokey.